Every year, thousands of young Nigerians face abuse. According to UNICEF, six out of every 10 children experience some form of violence. One in four girls and 10% of boys have been victims of sexual violence. Out of the children who reported violence, fewer than five out of 100 received any form of support. While violence against girls is heavily reported, it's not the same with the boys. Cases of violence against boys are underreported. Some experts say it's partly because the boys are afraid to speak up. This is why Fame Foundation is collaborating with the French Embassy to raise awareness in schools about violence against boys. They teach the boys to identify and speak up if and when abused. The only that, that, that entice you with 1,000 naira, they want to do something bad to you. Is that, is that who wants to, they want to do anything good to you? No. no. What I learned today is about how boys should be reporting what people are doing to them. Let them find it closer to people who are elderly people who are close to them so that they can explain their feelings to people who can help them. Being highlighted here is the need for proactive measures that will not only punish perpetrators but also prevent violence from occurring in the first place. We must leave no one behind and everyone have the role to play in the world of eradicate GBV. An immediate point of action is a review of the current legal framework, particularly the Child Rights Act to include a comprehensive provision that safeguard boys and men from various forms of violence. We need to institutionalize this uh, parent-child engagement that make it easier for them to express themselves. There's a whole lot that needed to be done for the children, under 18 children in Nigeria. And we have been saying this, can we revisit this and review it? Can we adjust it? There's a lot of mechanism, technology has improved that we can actually use to you know, fight for the rights of the child. So what can the government do? In my, in my own opinion, can we start by revisiting, by reviewing, by modifying the existing Child Rights Act 2003 in Nigeria? There is optimism that if the Child Rights Act and the Violence Against Person Prohibition Law are reviewed, it will be a significant step in creating a society that is free from violence, where the rights and well-being of all individuals, irrespective of their gender, are protected and upheld. Chinaza Samuel, Arise News.